This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to a special bonus episode in the arena. It's me, it's CGB today in the arena. They have to ban it. They have to ban it. It's too powerful. Uh, by the time you watch this, there is a chance that this will already be banned. I'm going to have it put out as soon as possible, but they've already announced that sometime tomorrow it will be banned on MTG Arena, and this video is an attempt to show you why as I try to get in some last-second gameplay with Jeskai Turns. The combo, if you haven't been paying much attention to Historic, is that you have a treasure or a creature or something and you cast Indomitable Creativity. This is Red Red X Destroy. Artifacts or creatures for each permanent destroyed this way. Controller reveals cards from the top until an artifact or creature is revealed. Exile those card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. So. Much like Luca was used to get Agent of Treachery, much like Transmogrify was used to get Dream Trawler. In Historic, we're getting Velomachus Lorehold. And what can you hit with Velomachus Lorehold and its amazing abilities when it attacks to cast for free in Historic? You can hit the Mystical Archive, specifically Time Warp. Target player takes an extra turn after this one. And when you start taking extra turns with a 5-5 Hasty Dragon with Vigilance that gives you free spells, things get out of hand quickly. If you have a Time Warp in the graveyard, Mizzix Mastery is in the deck to recast that Time Warp and do it again. But there is another combo in the deck. Yeah, it's a double combo deck. Remember Magma Opus into Mizzix Mastery from the Jeskai Control video I made a little while back? It's in this deck too. So even when you're not on turn four going at indomitable creativity my treasure make Velomachus Lorehold take infinite turns or at least enough turns to kill you you can just be going turn three turn two magma opus make a treasure turn three cast mastery recast opus kill your board make a four four draw two cards combo the next turn it's just the most busted mystical archive deck and it's all in the colors blue and red which is kind of insane as well it's got Four copies of Mastery, four copies of Time Warp, four copies of Brainstorm, four copies of Memory Lapse. And what's happening tomorrow? Time Warp. This one is getting banned, and it's because of this deck. So my goal is to show you uh, quickly just why it had to be banned and how it works before it is gone forever. This deck list is exactly taken from the world champion and friend of the show, Paulo Vitor Dama de Rosa, and it has a sideboard if you want to play it in best of three. And if you're watching this video before the ban takes place, you might want to craft Time Warp. They might unban it someday, or you might want to use it in Historic Brawl or something like that, and they will refund your Mythic Wildcards. However, check and make sure whether or not the ban went through, because if you craft Try to craft this after the ban. It will tell you this card is banned. If it says that, don't bother. Waste of your wild cards, mostly. So on that note, we're going to make it snappy and dive in. Let the bonus content begin. So in the opener, we've got the draw. <laughs> nice. It's, it's good when the deck goes into easy mode. I don't think we I think we just brainstorm on one here because we don't even need to think about it very much. We know exactly what we need. Okay. You. You? Are we going to mastery out the Opus? Because we could wait a turn Prismari Command and go Creativity. Bishop of Wings, okay. I guess we can kill that. That makes the Opus look really appealing. And then the next turn, we're pretty much doing it again. So yeah, let's just go right to work on combo number one. We're going to get back the Magma Opus. We're going to fireball this sucker. Uh, we're going to tap stuff for no apparent reason. That's a good turn. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. By the way, this part is all going to be legal. Righteous Valkyrie. Let's go. So, uh, we can go for the combo right here, right now. Because we got a 4-4. Four -four. So, why not? Dragon! <clears throat> can we hit a time walk? We hit a mastery. 
When we hit a Prismari command. Hi, do you? Pretty sure there isn't another one down there yet, and there isn't. So we'll go with the command, I think. We don't have a time walk in hand to set up with the brainstorm, so the command is fine. All right. Draw two, treasure. Mimi. Uh-oh, the other dragon. That's not great, but we have a brainstorm. So what do we put back? Don't think we need the opus or the typhoon. Right now. And by put back, I mean in the graveyard. <laughs> So, even if they deal with the dragon, we can Creativity the token. And we can brainstorm this to the top so it hits. Easy. Soul Warden. Okay, no collected company yet. Opponent's gonna gain some life. Resplendent Angel. Triggers. Triggers. Feels good. And they have a lot of flyers and a lot of life. Is that going to be enough to stop us? If we attack with the dragon, they can multi-block it. And they're feeling pretty good about themselves. But we might get a free time warp, and then we can probably make another dragon. So I think that's what we try to do. That... That was unexpected. That was unexpected. Do I want another treasure? Do I have a use for another treasure? Two damage. Does it, do I have a use for a draw two discard too? Our hand is kind of what we want it to be, but I guess this is the best play. All right, there's a memory lapse and a time warp that we can throw in the graveyard. So that's good. A little bit of progress made on the opponent. <clears throat> Probably gonna need to memory lapse that. Do we brainstorm? If we brainstorm now and then shuffle, there is a chance we will redraw the lore hold. But we need the treasure for the creativity. So I think we just fetch, cast this, then brainstorm and creativity the next turn. I know. We had a chance to brainstorm Fable Passage and we turned it down. We're weird. Alright, brainstorm. Time warp. Nice. Want a free time warp? Here's a way to make sure you get it. This on top. This is second. Perfect. Wait, why did it shuffle? What did I miss? Uh, we will mastery up a time warp, so it's not the end of the world, but what did I miss? What if we could mastery an opus here instead? Ah, it's not that great. We'll do time warp. It's a little risky, but I think from here we can probably take all the turns. We just need to hit reasonably. So, creativity says... For each permanent destroyed, reveal cards from the top of their library until an artifact or creature revealed. Exile that card... Should have been the top card. Uh, then shuffle. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Okay, it does shuffle afterwards. That's kind of bizarre, but okay. And there was no time warp there in the what's now on the bottom. Nice. <laughs> that is the second whiff this game. Um, Just wow. So we definitely don't want to shuffle with Fable Passage here. Okay, another land. A brainstorm like this is absurd I don't think I could draw much worse but look at what we hit we're gonna get there we're gonna get there anyway one two three four five six seven we just need one land 
So we'll put you away and put you away. Don't really need to draw the memory lapse. So let's shuffle. I know, all those non-hits. <laughs> but it's okay. We've got a plan. We're going to get back the time warp this time. Target us. Take another turn. Play our land. And now we're going to overload the mastery. But we'll attack first, because why not? If we had another time warp, we get another turn after the extra turn. Dun, 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 Have a life. Overload. Feel it, baby. Feel the power. We don't need an extra turn. We've got this. Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> I think that's as unlucky as I've ever been with the deck as far as hitting with the dragon. Still one. Um, blue mana. Hello. Nice. Uh, we can put away the dragon. And then we're keeping an okay hand, but if we draw a Mizzix Master, it's a great hand, so... We're a mulligan machine. But we're going up against Thoughtseize, probably. Maybe not. All right, turn two, we can Opus. Turn three, we can Shark. Turn four, we can go for Dragon. Our opponent, they're going to try to kill us before we can do that. Hmm, is there a world where we want to do an Opus now? I think so. I don't think we even need the Brainstorm plan. I think we just hold up mana, make the opponent play, make the treasure. Next turn, we can't Creativity it, but we can Creativity the opponent's creature. But I don't think we want to. We just need our shark to buy us another turn, I think. Don't know if that's going to be an option, though. All right. Seems seems like a good draw on the play from our opponent. Just 100%. I mean, this is turn three we're talking about. And we're going to take nine. Okay. Okay. Draw and draw a million. Now the the question will be: Can they find unblockability to get around the shark? That's going to be the only question left to be answered. We can't creativity for what we need to do right now. We could creativity the spirit dancer, but then we have no action. So I think we just try to block with the shark. End of story. It's all up to a baby shark. Okay. So what do they need? One more aura? No, they need... Yeah, one more aura. And then they need to... Well, if they give it protection from blue, two of the auras fall off. This is... This is not as bad as it looks. Is there, like, vigilance on this? No. Yeah, protection from blue, blue to try to make it unblockable will drop off multiple auras. So this, the bounty will not stop us. And they're going to try anyway. Go ahead, name blue. Do it. Good job. It's a moment of applause for the opponent. Round of applause. Uh... Sure. And now for your next trick. We're Cartouchin, all right? Okay, guys. Time to see if creativity can go the distance. But... I think that there's some merit to doing this for two. In case we whiff. So we can go here and here. Yeah, they get a Saram. We get a dragon. 
These are not the same. And we hit a time warp. Nice. Shall we ride to victory? Looks like we shall. And another. Feels good. All right, just need to finish the job. That will do either way. We'll just go two damage upstairs. Got him. Watch out with those owl seeds. It's not, it's not free unblockability. Well, interesting. I guess we go for it. The Dwarven Mine's really awkward here because we have no mountains. We have two brainstorms, the Opus. I think we try. Hmm. Hello, they say. Let's get our tap land out of the way. Yeah, you get to start on Llanowar Elves. That's really good. And they go to another elf. I feel behind by a lot. How do we make this happen? I guess we Magma Opus, and then what? We need to top deck one of our key cards before we just die, and we might be dead next turn because of the power of the elf deck. Being on the draw sucks, guys. <laughs> Best of one historic is kind of a... It's kind of a stupid format. I can't stress enough how stupid it is. All right, I can't stop the Nurturer. I can stop the War Master, which is what's currently threatening to pump the squad. So let's do it. Do I need another treasure? I don't. What I need are the right cards. Wait, I need one, two, three, four. I need, I need four and a treasure next turn. So I can't cast these Brainstorms. Brainstorm gets me deeper than the Prismari Command. So I'm better off making a treasure. And then using it to Brainstorm. All right, can you kill me? It looks like we still have time unless they have a bunch of Lords. Okay, they, that's one way to adapt. I'm sure they actually meant to do that with their mana so they could attack me with a 5-5, but they missed it. All right, 12. Can we get out of this? Dwarven Mine doesn't make a creature, not even untapped here. So I think we go one mana for the Brainstorm. Two Masteries. Mastery is okay. It's not particularly great, but it's okay. Do I have to take two? How much do I take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can't opus on their turn. I do have a blocker, and I can kill those four. So I think I take two and save a treasure. Alright, our attempt at a recovery. No collected companies, please. Thank you. We redraw those sweet Rogran Triomes, and we pass the turn. Right now, Mastery doesn't do much, and this is a chump blocker. Not good. Growth Chamber Guardian. Okay. Okay. Are you going to attack with that, or are you going to play more of these Guardians and build a massive board? Hmm. Nothing has reach. If we can make a dragon, we'll be fine, but... 
As you can see, we're having some trouble with that. All right, if I take it and go to one, I still have the creature, which lets me expressive iteration. And if I have an untapped land, I can sacrifice this to cast. So I don't think there's a lot of advantage here to blocking the 6-6. Six, six. We're not going to survive another turn anyway, I don't think. Ugh. All right, Brainstorm and Fabled Passage, then maybe an iteration? Let's go for it. Wow. Can't do it, man. Cannot do it right now. We don't have enough mountains to make with, with Critter with Dwarven Mine. So we gotta put these back, we gotta play this, we gotta sacrifice. Go get Mountain. Yeah, this draw... The straw wasn't having it, was it? None of that's gonna work either. Woo! I mean, I feel like I saw a ton of my deck and didn't make it happen. Oh well. You go first. The most beautiful thing you can see. Um, but... A mastery with nothing to get back, Dwarven Mines, a Shark Typhoon. I don't know if this is the hand that you keep. Let's try it out. Um, turn three, we do this. Turn four, we'll see what happens. Turn five, we can time warp. Turn six, we can mastery. So, we'll see. I'm not, I'm really unsure about this hand. I was probably supposed to mulligan it, since it does mostly nothing. But it also might just go Shark Typhoon into creativity. Faithless Looting, what are you up to? Just draw creativity or a way to get one, and we'll be fine. We will be fine. Opus Anger. Well, there's an iteration. Just gonna cast it now. And we'll take a creativity. And we'll put a dragon back in the deck. And we'll exile this land. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an untapped land next turn right now. I only have a tapped one. Which means the shark token might not get made on time. But, on the bright side, we don't need it. Because we play the dwarven mine on four, make a free token, and transform that. Opponent on... Some kind of control deck. When you got Anger and Opus and stuff like that. And in turn two, Brainstorm. Looks like a naked one. Unless they have another looting here. Okay. Tap land, go. See if we can get our opponent to commit to some kind of play, and then we can take all the turns. So, flashback your looting. It'll be fun. Do it. Do it now. Okay. Hmm. I think I just go for the play. Yeah, I think I just just go for the creativity if they memory lapse it, whatever. They might also have a helix, but we get rid of their treasure, which they wanted to make. Yep, no treasure now. And this is on top, so they have to deal with the token. And there it is. Okay, so now what? I can blow up their token. Haha. -ha. They did want it. I think we say go. We're looking at a shark typhoon. But the opponent doesn't know that. They might think we have an answer for their... Their combo. But I think no matter what, we're supposed to go for it there. 
Unless I had, like, a memory lapse. Because otherwise we're just not doing anything. The only advantage we have is going first, and we kind of drew our cards in the wrong order. Our hand was medium. Mastery on that. Okay. Let's let them declare their targets. And then respond. I think we want to do Shark Typhoon Creativity. We could also do Mastery Opus, but I think Shark Typhoon Creativity gives us the best chance to win. And we'll see if they drew another Memory Lapse. Because so far they've just had a really nuts hand against us. And next turn we can go, um, we can try to Opus Mastery them. Or uh, we can use the creativity. Okay, they're brainstorming. Which means they probably didn't have it. So I don't know what they're looking for here. I believe that, yeah, they played their land. Alright, so one mana. Do they run shock? Are they a shock gamer? I doubt it. So we want a time warp in our graveyard when we go for the creativity and we have masteries already so let's take an extra turn doesn't play around mystical dispute that would be that would be a feels bad all right no action do we know anything on the bottom we know there's a dragon on the bottom we don't want our dragon to hit a dragon anyway so thinning doesn't make a lot of sense so let's go creativity we could also uh, go Opus and then Creativity on the Opus and keep the Shark, but I think this is fine. Resolves. Alright, big dragon attack here. Will we hit a Time Warp? Or a Mastery? We will hit Prismari Command. That gets us to 3 mana, but not 4. Let's destroy an artifact, make a treasure. Not it feels good, is it? Why are we whiffing, man? We're not supposed to whiff when we play this deck. All right, down to 11. End the turn. We can't overload Mastery, though, if we do get another turn, so let's hope for the best. Our opponent looks to be playing a version of this deck that's slightly different. Faithless Looting, Anger of the Gods aren't cards that I'm running. Rain to the Storm. All right, how will you solve the dragon? Make a critter of your own, probably? I'm going to tell you, they drew memory lapse, we didn't. It's pretty rough in this uh, format when only one player draws the, the counter spell. We'll see if it comes down to that here, or if we're able to overcome. We did go first. That's pretty even game, all things considered. Just a little painful to be countered. Must be a Mizzix Mastery, because they are really pawing at that graveyard. And there's a Magma Opus, but it doesn't solve anything. Like, we can take the hit. As long as we don't block, the Magma Opus won't kill us. Okay, they go for it. They're going to tap this down. Which is pretty strong. Pretty strong. And then they get in, but then we get another turn, probably. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, they're dealing four to it, so they might have another way to deal one more point of damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and why are they tapping my tapped land? Doesn't make sense either. Okay. Twelve. Twelve life. Let's go. Memory lapse. You're late, but 
looks like we didn't need ya. And then we get to overload Mizzix Mastery. We probably attack and hit a time walk. Game over. 83%! Okay. Alright. 83% gamer. We better not lose. This hand looks nice, uh, mostly because we can brainstorm these and then shuffle them away and then try to put together the combo from there. It is a little bit of a trap. Make Brainstorm available right away in case of a Thought Seize. Will we get to resolve this Brainstorm? That's what I'm wondering. Drown Secrets. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player mills two cards. Nice. All right, we got Mastery and Command. And we have lots of land. We could keep a Time Warp here. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Put away this non-mountain. Make our Dwarven's mind, minds better. Memory lapse. Do we need to do that right now? We don't have much of a combo going yet. We need to find creativity, so I think we iteration this turn. I'm wondering how crazy this deck goes. If they mill us, could be nice. Magma Opus we want in our hand. I guess we can't cast Prismari Command, so we put that in the deck. And this can go here. I'm are they gonna target me or themselves? All right, Mill Gamer. If we draw another land, how mad are we about it? Pretty mad. But this could work with a Brainstorm. Let's just say go. Another Mastery. Let's just shock this in. We're not under pressure. And say go. And we'll think about using Command or Opus. Opus Mastery is looking all right. But our opponent's just taking no action. How do we get them to tap low, is the question. Still taking no action. Mastery here almost certainly gets countered. Is that what we want? Although we can protect it with memory lapse and fight a bit of a counter fight. We can also just go for a time warp. Not really doing anything. Let's go for it. Uh, Dwarven Mine would be our third mountain, so we can balance our colors a little more than usual. Let's go for the Time Warp, see if the opponent hates this idea. Oh, they've got nothing. <laughs> uh, they've got nothing. <laughs> what? What is your deck? <laughs> what is Drown Secrets Tribal over here? Brainstorm, Time Warp, Magma Opus, Velamachus. Um, no way to fix the Brainstorm. And we're on the draw. Let's take a shot for a more... I think I want to go for a more busted hand. Better, closer, warmer. We still need to draw Magma Opus. The Dwarven Mine is probably just a tapped land. This fixes our Brainstorm. More Elves. Okay. A little nervous. Not gonna lie. The Elves are fast. Being on the draw against them was our only other loss today. And they are not taking this lightly. Okay, so their hand doesn't have one drops. It probably has lords. So we need action. So next turn is probably just a Prismari command, and then at least we can hit this Archdruid, right? That, that card is big trouble. This definitely goes back. What else goes back? I think the island goes back. 
We could put the falls back because we're going to fetch a mountain and then we just need to draw one more. But it's either the mountain or the island. It, uh, it's either the falls or the island, so it may as well be the island. All right, 12 life. The mastery isn't going to get much done. We have to draw the right card here. So we need to draw like into, gosh, and we're not going to have enough mountains to make the one one. So we have to make the treasures and we have to deal the two damage. This is not good. We're going to have to have another turn after the next one. I think that's asking a lot of the deck, but it is what it is. All right, two damage. We could try to mill, and then we might be able to mastery next turn, but we'd have to draw an untapped land. I guess that's what we're doing. All right, two damage to you. And then we loot and try to draw something worth casting from the graveyard and an untapped land. We didn't do it. This to me can go. This can go. Really sucks to not have the treasure after making that play. And they got another one. They attack. Probably just dead here. Creativity. If I'd made the treasure, man. All right, how do we live for another turn? If we kill this, we still die, right? And we make a treasure, and we make a tapped creature. So we have to draw. Drawing a mountain won't do it. This won't make a 1-1. One, one. I think we're just done. I think we're just done. Yeah, this was tough. Just too fast. And this is why I think some of those decks are running Anger. There's the card that we were hoping to get when we held on to the Mastery. I mean, you see, we also just never found another land. So this Dwarven Mine just absolutely sank us. They do need a Lord here, but that's all they need. Um, wait, what? Okay. Not dead. Not dead. They must have all land in hand. Or their collected company, like, just torturing me here. But they should just play down their turn to hit a lord and win. And we drew a mine, so that makes like another creature. We're hanging in there. One life, not zero. There's the collected company. It was a turn late. Okay. They have a board. Do we know anything about the bottom? We don't. So let's thin first. All right, so we're at one life. If we whiff on this dragon, we lose. So I think the right play is to kill one more creature. And then if the dragon hits a removal spell, we remove one more creature and we're alive. So two damage and a treasure? Yes. Right? Two damage and a treasure. This way, if we only hit a Prismari command, which has happened to us several times now, we're still not dead. Oh my god. No! I am, I am so bad at this deck, so we can't add anything to this. This doesn't work. We have to do this. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Why? Why am I the worst? Okay, I got really lucky to get this far. That, I was trying to steal that game anyway, but why did I have to get unlucky at the end? That is such a taunt, okay? That is so mean. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this deck? Why does it do this to me? Look at that! Oh. 
Rainstorm, typhoon. Ah, I don't care anymore, like I'm off it. The deck hates me. I hate it back. Whatever. What the heck ever, Sprite Dragon, Yippie Kaye, Mofo. Two time warps. I guess we do this and see if we can hit a Fable Passage now. No Fable Passage. Cool. Um, how are we gonna win this game? Mizzix Mastery, two time warps. Don't think it matters too much. If the opponent mills me, I guess that's fine. So we'll go with you and you. Double dragon. Rip. Do we need to draw here? I think we need the treasure. We don't have double blue for the time warp otherwise. You gonna play spells or no? Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. All right, what's down there? There's another Prismari command that can take out the Sprite Dragon. That's pretty good. Let's go make our 1-1 one -one now. If the opponent targets it, they're not targeting our face. We could time warp now, but then we give up the treasure, which we might need. So let's just mastery. Let's cast the command. Two damage, draw two. There's an opus. But we used our mastery. We don't have another blue for the time warp either. So we better put that away. And then, I don't know. Discarding the Opus seems okay if I weren't in range of casting it. I kind of am, but not for sure. All right. Whew. All right. Hopefully we live a few more turns here. Opponent's going to get the spell train rolling. They didn't really have many spells to go with the Sprite Dragon. Let's see how big they can make the Crackling Drake. Yeah, I would shock face too. All right, six life. Triome, come on now. Uh, how big can we make this shark? We can make it a four. I guess that's the plan. Opponent's got something. Guess we'll find out what it is. Might be another shock. What would you hold in that spot? It's kind of tricky. All right, Shark Typhoon, you got to do the job. The deck has turned against me. Are they a Lava Axe gamer? They sure are. Lightning Axe, my bad. Okay, that gets us a time warp. Are we dead? We're dead to a shock. But if they had it, I think they would have played it last turn. Another frickin' Prismari command. Oops. Um, okay. Another freaking Prismari command. That tells me they have a counter. But I don't have any ways to play around what they have. I don't have enough mana cast time warp and memory lapse. Everything's just off. Everything about the deck has been off in this game. Okay, they let that resolve. Mastery! Mastery can be another time warp, but I think Magma Opus is best. Let's go for it. And we have the memory lapse. That is a top deck. 
If they do have a counter, they definitely should have just countered the time warp. So I'm guessing it's another axe. Thank God we drew some land. Just kidding. But we're in it. We're not out of this game. We're at two. Our opponent adds expressive iteration to the stack. They could hit shock and shock. And they just drew this, right? Or they would have played it last turn. So let's put it back. So close. What do we do? What do we do? Cycle the Triome, perhaps? Do we know anything about the bottom? Not yet. Let's cycle the Triome first. Nice! I think there's still islands in there. Okay. Attack. They're definitely holding up another Lava Axe. Lightning Axe, my bad. So, I think, do we have to let them have this next iteration? I guess it depends what the Prismari Command reveals. Feels like Memory Lapse is a good play on it, but let's see what this gets us. So we want to draw two. Dealing two damage to their face doesn't seem great. So let's make a treasure. There's a creativity. All right, so now we probably let this it expressive iteration resolve because we want to be able to counter the axe. It also makes it look like we don't have a counter spell if they decide to just go for something here, like a two to the face, which could tap their only red. Ooh, Sprite Dragon. All right, that's too close for comfort. But that means if they go untapped red here, they GG me. No untapped red, no untapped red, no untapped red. Well, wait, we can have two com- Oh, what? The f All right. All right. Worst run ever. All right. I'm miserable. I, I have never hated magic as much as I do right now, and I'm just trying to send you guys out on a win. So we're going to give it one more shot. But this deck isn't broken. This deck is trash. I'm just kidding. My luck is trash. My luck is absolute, absolute trash. Uh, we play the mountain, right? Say go. We've got Opus Mastery this time. Our opponent didn't do anything, so this might turn into one of the more interesting games we've ever had. Iteration. Sure. So they're losing this opus? Okay. So do we go for an opus because they're tapped out and we can? They're going to probably untap and opus our opus. Is that fine? I don't know. We have a memory lapse. Seems like a silly thing to let them do. I guess we make them have it. If they don't, they're really far behind. But they can also just play a creativity. It's pretty bad for us, too. This is weird. It's kind of a Hoobling's first type of deal. I 
think we chill. An opponent agrees. We chill. Suppose we want to hit some land with this? And we do. We also get hit creativity. That can go to hand. This can go to exile. Or the deck. This goes to exile. Play it. Pass turn. Going second is rough. Our opponent's going to have access to memory, lapse, mastery before us. But if they do that, we might just creativity and win. So it's a weird cat and mouse. They want to blow up my treasure? Gotta fight that mana fight. This will definitely let them push something through memory lapse first. Alright. So, we want to be able to make another treasure. We need another land. We don't need this. And do we need a time warp? It's actually not good here, right? So we'll put it back in the deck instead. I like having one in the graveyard. But the masteries, I think, are higher upside. Maybe it's best to have both. But I just don't see tapping out going for a time warp. Alright, so they didn't make a treasure. We can also give ourselves a chance to redraw it. We'll just let it linger there for a minute and decide whether or not to shuffle it. Yeah. So the trick is you let it resolve and then let them try to cast it like this. And then if you want, you can memory lapse it and it's gone for good. The thing here is if I memory lapse it, I untap and I don't really do anything because I don't have a dwarf in mine. So I think we just let them have it. Okay, their mind makes no creature. Now they might be able to blow up their treasure and force their creativity through if they also have a memory lapse. And that would be very bad. So here it comes. Oh, they don't have the untapped land, which we kind of knew from last turn, right? Because they played this tapped. So if they sacrifice this, they don't get anything. So they have to have Mystical Dispute. Or Spell Pierce. Or Pact of Negation. Something that they wouldn't normally have. Alright. They have mana open here. We have creativity, but no treasure. And they're going to go for this again. So how do we get them? Nothing there destroys it. Flashing back memory lapse doesn't do it. If we creativity their treasure, that doesn't help. If we opus, it doesn't defeat it. I don't know. I guess we can hope they don't go for it. How about dealing with their dragon? Is there anything we can do to stop the dragon? I don't think so. I guess we try to Shark Typhoon into a memory lapse. That's our play. We could also try to not make the 1-1 one, one and just try to hit a Prismari command. I guess that's a little bit better. Let's thin the deck first. It does. It is a risk, but if we hit a Prismari command, it'll make a treasure and then creativity will work. Alright, I need some good luck, guys. I really do. Wow. Rip. Alright. So, if the opponent hits a time warp, the game is probably over. Why am I the worst at this deck? 
<laughs> it really hates me. I, I, I swear to you, I'm not as bad as this looks. I'm just... Ugh. It's so disgusting. It's so sad. It's so sad. And we are back for the post games wrap. And do we dare check the stats? Power by untap.gg. Download link in the description. Sometimes you don't want to look at them. <laughs> look at that. Who would have thought I'd be tanking my rank? Playing the busted deck that's going to get banned. I, I guess if you're going to tank your rank, that's a way to do it. I don't know how I could get less lucky than I did in some of those games. Like, it is what it is. What can you say? Um, four and four, 50% with that bad luck, I might add. Kind of, kind of gonna give myself some props. 20% on the draw. Every single loss was on the draw. Now, I don't think that's a coincidence. The main reason, people ask me all the time why I don't play Historic. There are two things I hate about Historic. Number one, I hate playing best of three. Don't enjoy it. So people ask him for that. Here you go. Number two, Historic, all that seems to matter is going first. Like, the format's just too busted. Like, winning on the draw is so hard. It either... I don't know. Maybe I need to master the format a little better, and I didn't have time to master with this deck because it's going to get banned and I had to make a video. But we'll work on it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> kind of a ridiculous video to make, but I hope you like the extra content. And if you were wondering what's getting banned and why, maybe this video shed some light on it. I am just... I am kind of blown away that I'm getting wrecked playing the banned deck. But... Sometimes it happens. There are days when you cannot change the outcome. So in order to wash the stink of this off, I'm going to go find a good cozy sky noodle deck and we're going to we're going to work on rebuilding. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the bonus content. If you did, uh, please subscribe. Did you know uh, like 30 some percent of you aren't subscribed? It's great dishonor to this dojo. And if you want to support the channel and get extra perks, hit join and become a member. And if you like the bonus content, let me know. Let me know what I should do for bonus content. Usually in Historic, what gets bonus content is broken decks, ban bannable decks. So, um, jank, don't bother. Like, you can type it. I don't mind the comment, but it's not happening. But if you've got some cool broken decks I should play, let me know. And thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool.